Hey friends, today in this video, I will show you how we can check multiple port connectivity from the PowerShell script. So suppose if we just want to troubleshoot Active Directory port connectivity because Active Directory using multiple ports and we just want to check each and every port using this PowerShell script. So this will help us to, to check these all ports through a single PowerShell script. So I'm going to open the PowerShell script which is created. This is ad underscore port status check. I'm going to open it. Now you can see in the first line I specified a variable that is dollar server in this variable. This is the IP address of the domain controller where these ports are available. So in the next line I am specifying an array. In this array I am just specifying the port number and this port number related with DNS, Carviros, RPC, LDAP, SMB, Carviros, password change, LDAP, SSL. These all ports are related with Active Directory. So now I am going to see in the next that is the function to check the port status. So in the first array we specified the port numbers and next we are using a function that will help us to check these all ports using this function that is check hyphen port status in the param and the dollar port this is a variable inside this function and next is dollar port status and in this variable I am using a PowerShell command that will help us to check the port connectivity. So this is a completely a PowerShell command and this command is using a computer name that is dollar server. So this variable contains the IP address which we specified in the first line. So this will take the IP address from this variable and next is hyphen port and dollar port. So this variable will use to take the port number which we specified. Next, if this command executed successfully, so this will prompt a message that is TCP test succeeded. If this command executed successfully and if we received TCP test succeeded, then this will write a message that is port and port number is reachable on server from this variable dollar $server else in case if port is not reachable so this will prompt a message port dollar port is not reachable on server next this will just check these all details using this for each loop so suppose if you have more than uh, one uh, loop one process so you can use this for each loop so this will this for each loop will just check each and every port one by one next that is check port status dollar port. So the function the, the function which we specified this will give the result. So we'll see how this will work. Now I'm going to execute this PowerShell script. I'm just going to expand this one. So it will be easier for you to also check this. So this is a complete PowerShell script. Now I'm going to see the result of this PowerShell script. Now this is just checking the port number one by one from the very beginning that is 53 to till this will check 14. Now we'll see the result over here. It is just attempting for TCP connection and waiting for response from the server which we specified that is 10.0.0.10 .10. and this will prompt a message that is port is reachable in case any port which is not reachable this will prompt the message as well so now you can see 53 is reachable on the server 88 is also reachable and similarly you can see 636 is also reachable now we are getting a message that is 14 is not reachable on 10.0.0.10 .10. so it means 14 is not related with the, the active directory or also it is not open on the domain controller or the IP address that's why we received this message that is port 14 is not reachable we just added this port number for testing purpose so so this will just give in a message that is port is not reachable, port and port number. 
so in case if port is reachable so you will get this message if port is not reachable you will get this message so this is the method which you can follow to, to, to check the multiple ports from any servers through the PowerShell script this is not only for Active Directory you can check other ports as well while specifying the port number inside this array thank you for watching this video